Boy Land Boy. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? What we gonna do for you? Hey folks, and for today's quick tip, we're gonna take a look at the channel copy note. Let's go. So here we are inside in the pops context, and I've got my composite viewer open here. I'm gonna put down a color wheel just so we have an image to play around with. You can see by default it is 1920 by 1080. That is because my compodling settings here is set to 1920 by 1080 by default. So what I'm going to do is change this to 1024 by 1024. And I much prefer to do it here than on the nodes themselves. I'm going to click apply. And there you go. Any of the generator nodes are using that size uh, when they're being created. So I've got my color wheel here. And what I want to do is split it off into different colors and then recombine it. Just so we can get used to the jello copy. Now... The channel copy works quite well, but I am not a fan of the interface by default. The trick to getting it to do what you want is to remember that you have to set your target first and then your source. So our target in this case is going to be C for color. And then the question is, is okay, well, what do you want to put into C, um, into color? Well, in this case, I want to put in input one and that is input one there. I want to put in C or. So now if I set my display flag down here, that is the red channel being pumped in here. Okay, let's do that for the other channels. So I'm going to hold the old key just to copy that one out. And I'm going to change it. The target is still C for this particular branch. And I'm going to change it to the green channel. There you go, there's green. I'm going to set it to the blue channel. Now we've got our channel separated now. Let's that'll pack them back together. So I'm going to go and do the, uh, I'm going to go back to my red channel here first. And I'm going to put down another channel copy. So this channel copy already has the red channel in it. Again, the interface is a little confusing, so we need to pay attention to what we're doing. I'm going to plug this guy, which is the green channel here. I'm going to plug it into input two here. So really what I'm saying on the new channel copy down here is I want to, tar what's my target? That's the first question. Well, the target is CG. And what is my source? The source here is input. Well, there's the first input and this is the second input. So it's input to CG. So that is my red and green channel packed back together. Now, if I wanted to, I could copy this node out like this and I could hook it up something like this and I could plug in my next one. And probably that's the way to do it. So you've got a node per step, but you can also, if you wish, take this guy and plug it into input three here and we could add and then again, the question to ask is, well, what, what's my target? Well, my target is C, B, the blue channel. But what's my input, the source? Well, it's input three this time, and it is C, B. And now I have rebuilt the original color wheel. So this was the start color wheel, and this was the end. So that's how we can split channels out and put them back together. This can get confusing, this process, so you'll need to double check here. And it's also very well worthwhile going through the different channels over here. The hotkeys for that are 1, 2, and 3 for red, green, and blue, and then 4 for your alpha. And then the tills to go back to show all the planes. Okay, so you should be doing that all the time as you're going down through your comp. So having good control over our channels is very important for comp, and it's very useful for channel packing for games. Hope you found this quick tip useful, and I'll see you in the next video.